Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be discussing Nick Collins' performance against the Denver Broncos last uh, week. He went out for nine catches, 191 yards, and a touchdown. And basically what I saw from watching this film again, guys, is they left some yards and touchdowns out there, fellas. And, um, you know, this guy's basically, what, 6'4", about 215, 220. And... Uh, he moves pretty well for a big guy, you get, and we're gonna break down his performance and see what he's using to his advantage to get him open, you get. Um, before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead subscribe. Um, click on that notification bell so you get that notification when I drop a new video, like I am right now. And yeah, leave me a like, obviously comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, at the end of the video, I always like to hear feedback and that. Make sure I reply in the comments, especially. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Like I mentioned, again, um, Nico is 6'4", to, um, 215, 220. So, obviously, like, his his best attributes are going to be using his size to his advantage, right? And he moves pretty well. So, yeah, first rep here. This is early in the first quarter. You can see they're going to just, you know, corner is impressed. They're going to like this, this matchup. You get and CJ trusts him very much. I think he missed like maybe a couple of games this year, but starting off the year, he was the number one target. And then Tangdale came on, and now Tangdale's injured. Get, so he's gonna be going forward like the the mainstay number one. But what I love most about this rep is sort of as you can see in top right, this this cornerback is impressed. You know, he's not messing around. He could go outside and widen here. But he sees that hole right in the middle. So he splits, dives inside, and he's immediately stacking. Right? You're gonna see this on this replay. He's stacking because obviously this is single high. So he needs to create as much space so he doesn't get drilled by this safety. Right? So because as soon as he comes out of his release here, if you watch again, look at look at his angle. He starts basically on the outside of the numbers right and look where he finishes like two three yards outside of the numbers if if cj does a better job of maybe hitting them like where he's um route is taking him right now this probably ends up being a touchdown right but you know that's just the little detail of sort of like helping yourself protecting yourself um yeah just creating more space for you to make plays without getting hit right so um it's a great job there uh you see here next play is just a simple quick out and he moves pretty well like he's not stiff you can you can clearly see his size right off like it jumps off the screen like cornerbacks are what five nine five ten five eleven mostly and you can just see the size the sheer size it's, it's tough because it looks like the corner is in decent position here i don't know why he doesn't like take an angle to try to undercut this ball but i'm guessing definitely his size plays a factor because right here like it just seems like there's so much more space like cj does a great job though of throwing them down so that that's great um here's one of those misplays i was talking about where they had an opportunity to have more yards They're in the red zone here um first and goal they, they like this matchup against soft press anytime the db is close right and he does the patient creep up release. He's open. This is open. CJ just misses. Do you get? And I think, man, this is gonna be so, some sort of a combination moving forward. Like if he can just manage to stay healthy, because he has a great quarterback, and CJ started giving the ball, and you you can see how CJ can manufacture time, right? That extra time, one two three four and some sometimes quarterbacks just like as soon as they get into a situation where their head's down they're just gonna i don't know sometimes they just go down sometimes they just go like try to run a scramble obviously he probably has some space here to try to make something happen but he keeps his eyes open downfield and he finds him right and don't don't get it twisted that little moment where it looks like cj might scramble Helps his receivers get open more because those those defenders on the back end start trying to pay attention to the quarterback, right? And here's another another 
example of CJ stepping up in the pocket. And listen, man, he's a big guy, right? You just got to put it in his area somewhere. Like, you don't have to worry about being super accurate with this guy. Like, he's got a huge radius, right? Um, They, they try to find the, uh, a way to get the ball into his hands in a multitude of ways, as you can see there in the screen pass. They got a little sticks concept here, and it's easy, right? Like, he he's, he's built like a tight end, but he's not a wide receiver. He's not a wide receiver with a tight end body. Do you get Like, he's just playing basketball, just posting up. Look how big he is. How is the DB supposed to get to this ball? It's a huge frame, a huge target, and you can see why CJ is very comfortable with him. And now if he starts doing stuff like this where he's creating five, six yards of separation, now it's going to be trouble, right? It's going to be trouble. So as you can see here, for, for especially for cornerbacks in the red zone, when they're going up against someone that has a huge size advantage on them, um, they just... Are expecting you know one moves like you're not you're not expecting like a quick twitch um receiver at that size you're thinking oh they're just gonna do one move and they're just gonna try to post you up and get the ball right like you just saw in the previous play on the sticks concept and he's here you can just see those little subtle slow stop start again you know and he's got him beat on the first the first rep and now he got him on the second one. He's just taking a piss now, you know. He's just he's just he's just goofing around. Like he can he can he can pause, call his mom. That's how open he is on this. And I don't even know how CJ ends up having so much space on this probably the play action. But this is the red zone. How many how many how many seconds you count? Like at least one, two, three, four, five. Like bro, <laughs> I mean it's too easy, but. Like, I believe Nico is in his second year. But, yeah, man, it's, it's just great that now he has a quarterback, right, that can get him the football. And you just see another example here of his athleticism, like especially at that size, right, catching the ball, breaking down efficiently, evading the cornerback. And this is Pat Patrick Sotan is like 6'2". Okay? This is how big this dude is, bro. And he still makes him look like, you know, small. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, um, great job by Nico Collins. I think, you know, like he's still going to keep improving on his performances. I think Noah, Noah Brown is back um, again. So, um, interesting to see if it, like he'll be a good compliment for them. I know I've already done a breakdown of Tank Dell on this, on, this, um, on this channel. But, you know, Houston got some receivers, man. And Nico Collins is one of those guys I really like. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think he's going to be able to keep up this performances? What are your expectations for the Texans? Like they, they've been winning some games, right? And we've seen CJ been in that MVP conversation for a little bit. But yeah, man, I expect them to keep dominating, like offensively at least. You know, I, I don't know if they're going to be the piece it together on defense just quite yet. But yeah, they have a chance, man. So let me know what you think about him. Do you think he could? He has a chance to be maybe one of the top receivers in the and the league do you think he has a chance to make a pro bowl you know um and yeah let me know and uh subscribe to the channel share you know i hope hopefully you've learned something from this and i'll see you guys on the next one okay peace